Maureen McCormick from the sitcom The Brady Bunch was just too much to handle on and off screen. So, sit tight for these shocking revelations. Maureen started as a baby beauty queen. The teen star showed potential as early as six years old. She was crowned Little San Fernando Valley. She appeared in several commercials for the dolls Chatty Cathy and Barbie. Then she appeared in the famous fantasy sitcom Bewitched. She even guest starred in its competition I Dream of Jeannie and has been on several other shows. Marsha was her alter ego. Then in 1969, the 13-year-old actress was cast in the hit show about an unconventional blended family called The Brady Bunch. She got the role of Marsha. It was her iconic character. Marsha Brady was described as the eldest of the three girls of Mrs. Carol Brady from her former marriage. The girl is supposed to be the perfect dreamboat for every boy in her school. She is popular, pretty, intelligent, confident, kind, and everything about her is just an A+. She rebelled against the show, but the young actress Maureen McCormick was far from being a Marsha Brady in real life. Sure, she was pretty and popular, but she was definitely far from perfect. The teenage actress soon lost her belief in the squeaky clean disposition of the show. She found it to be unrealistic. She thought that her character should also face the dirty troubles of adolescence. So, Maureen McCormick pledged not to wear an upper undergarment during filming. She was reprimanded for it. Also, the two eldest child stars in the show hooked up after filming. Maureen McCormick and Barry Williams went out on a date. Their first kiss was during a moonlit walk in Hawaii. Yet, the puppy love didn't last long. Maureen has more dirty little secrets. Because of the extreme pressure of Hollywood, the juvenile suffered from extreme dependency on recreational alternatives. She had to finish her session even if she had to stay up all night. The actress would sometimes go to meetings without any sleep. It was so bad it affected her performance on set. She even lost the chance to be part of the 1981 epic film, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Director Steven Spielberg didn't reprimand her, but gave her an orange yes, the fruit, as a signal of her dismissal. Money didn't mean anything to her. Being a child superstar deepened her pockets, but her mind was way too high. So, she and a friend would visit the mall and shop around as usual rich girls do. Except, they don't pay. They would lift shopping goods like they own them and run out as fast as they can. Maureen even admitted that she left her friend to avoid getting caught. She might have thought that it was only a naughty teenage prank. But for the shop owner, it wasn't funny. She was too young to be a mother. Stardom pressured the young actress to stay thin no matter what. Her character, Marcia, had to keep her figures. The actress suffered from an eating disorder for it. On top of it all, the teenage superstar lost her three babies before she even hit 21. She had to keep her image as a star. Everything she did off-screen was on the blacklist of what society dictates. Her personal life was a total wreck, yet she had to keep smiling in front of the cameras as the perfect girl Marsha Brady. Maureen revealed it all in her memoir. Despite all the fame and glory, why did she let it all go down the drain? She revealed it in her autobiography titled, Here's the Story, Surviving Marsha Brady and Finding My True Voice. It was a combination of the huge pressure placed on her petite teenage shoulders. Hollywood can be so daunting, especially if family issues are mixed with it. While she chuckled in the celebrity limelight, she cried behind the curtain. It was the time that her grandmother died and her mother got seriously ill. Her mother was treated on time but the dark cloud in the family took a toll on her. That led her to decisions that she regretted for the rest of her life, but the actress moved forward after the finale of The Brady Bunch. She recorded her music album and appeared in more than 20 films and over 50 television shows.